be running show and tell natural order and a bunch of atroxes um and then here's some interaction uh here's sideboard uh for delver it's like pretty clean cut forces for endurances and you can control your minskin boo you know blood moon for the saga and lands decks um you know force from some more combo so that's a nice mix so let's see if mixing these together is enough to to mess with people Oh wait, hold on. Alright. Oh good. Magic just crashed. Excellent. Probably because I dropped ones uh, I got paired simultaneously. I was like updating my stream decker and stuff, so. Maybe I should be on three show and tell and four natural order. But the show and tell seems sus with only four, like four tracks before show and tell with no cantrips. Maybe that could be a little better. Um, hmm. Once this loads, I'll uh, take a quick peek. Uh, and see if there's anything else. Um, I think it's okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's a first draft. Let's see if, uh, if we get flooded on one half or the other, right? Oh, Solver, what's up? Dude, you've been absolutely crushing with uh, Painter. Absolute props to you. The blue Painter deck, and you've been like putting up results weekly, like just crushing. I know that uh, I'd be one of your victims if we pair. I, I never beat Painter. I just feel like no matter what, I never beat any version of Painter. All right. Let's rock and roll. Okay, so let's note, we have a show and tell, but we don't have anything to put in. So we can cascade. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's good if we draw an attract, so it's good if we draw a red card. It's good if we draw a force of will. So I think I'll give it a shot. We have turn one suspend, turn two shardless into it, so. Oops. Let's see if this is just a boring old Delver. Yeah, I guess we just put them to the test, you know, right away. If we draw a red source, we get to do it again, so. Granted, that would be our third crashing footfall, so we would not be able to do that anymore. Fetch days would be really annoying. Forcing this is whatever. All right, cool. Forcing is fine. Pitching a Merc Tide. Okay, cool. But now we do have a green creature in play for natural order, which is nice. So we have a lot of good draws. We have a lot of good draws. Um, 
Brazen Borrower and the Sky Turtle would let us bounce, uh, you know, a big Murktide if they had another one, which they probably do, so. And we are facing Delver, so the sideboard plan, I think, is just cut four forces, bring in uh, four Endurance. Uh, pretty, pretty straightforward. And if we could hide Show and Tell, they probably wouldn't bring in Pyroblast, so then the Show and Tells would have a little more value. DRC Bauble. Oh, deal. Alright, red mana. Red mana. Unlucky. I could always cast a show and tell, like, into counter magic. I feel like I would do that if I had, uh... If I didn't have to burn a spirit guide. Yeah, I think that's all I want versus them. Did they brick up? They bricked on land. That's lovely. Uh, am I jamming this into days? They didn't have days before. They did brainstorm. They may have kept the days. Hmm. I mean, I think it's still fine anyway. It's kind of frustrating not to hit the lands, but what can you do? Like, we're hitting our six spirit guide. Oh, there we go. Sometimes you just gotta jam, you know? I mean, they have a Merc Tide. It's gonna be a, a, big, a big boy. In which case, we're just looking for Brazen Bar, or like, you know, the Brazen Barber and the Sky Turtle. So that's four outs. I guess like a land in a Traxa would also give us a uh, game, so. And of course it's another Murktide. <laughs> it's Delver, they can't just not have the cards, you know? Uh, Alright, so there are no more Spirit, there are no more uh, Rhinos in the deck now. I did only register three. Probably a mistake over the show and tell, I think. Oh, right on time. I can actually show and tell in... Oh, I don't have a basic mountain, I don't think. Oh, no. <laughs> I had so many things that got it, but I got the red forest. Right, I'm just going to attack and then cast show and tell. They didn't have days or force, so... Uh, I guess I'll go with uh, like a blue or something. I guess green for natural order. Damn, showing. Oh, let's go. What a fucking start. Gotta snip it. Gotta snip it. This is just fucking what magic's all about. <laughs> oh man. funny makes me happy I think we just want the endurances over forces so my takeaway currently is 
Probably should have like one less Atraxel, one less show and tell. The fourth cascading and a mountain is sort of what it's looking like to me. Is there anything else we want to do? I think Fury is reasonable. Brazen and this are great. Yeah, I mean, sure. Uh, wow, four lands. I think we're going to keep it. I think just having mana versus Delver is nice. They're going to mold, they may mold aggressively to a Force of Will, so. We don't have to play anything in the days, probably. And one of the good things about these this deck is you don't need to to wait to fetch. You just sort of fetch. Oh, that's a great draw as well. Um, I think I want to go to Forest here. Like, what I'll probably do is I'll... On turn three, I may just show and tell a Fury and let it get countered. Like, either I put in a Fury or it gets countered. Either way, it's a win. So I'll fetch an island here. I really wish... Uh, okay. Wish we had that one turn sooner, but, you know... days huh now i probably won't do that their clock isn't terribly impressive like if they didn't have a day like if they revealed the force i think i would have been okay with it fetch here unless i draw spirit guide obviously oh uh, damn and now our show until actually has text that's pretty sweet that's kind of sweet. Damn, one turn late to let me get my tempo play, huh? I think we'll just uh, do the endurance since it can't get pyroblasted. Seven cards in hand is just wild. <laughs> this is pretty good because it has to get force world exactly. Yeah. Pitching a Merc Tide. Okay, so we know they still have a daze. So we just say okay here. Uh, I can make them have force and counter spell here, I guess. They have days, days. It's annoying, but. Yep, they have these days. Okay, so they have two lands, two unknowns. They might be able just to tempo us out by a hair. This one Delver might go the distance. If I draw, uh, ideally, a non-fetch land, we can go show and tell plus endurance. I think they're just on protect the queen right now. Yeah, fetch is tough. 
They may have cut Bolt, but I just don't think so. So we know they have Volcanic 2 Unknowns. Nice guy. Okay. So they have four or uh, four unknowns. They use the days. It's really bad. I guess I should cast a show and tell. Yeah, probably with Pyro Blast. The reason is if I draw a show and tell next turn, I want to be able to do it. Don't care. So now I get to swing with the team. Yeah, now we just swing with the team. Is there any downside? No. Oh my god, that's amazing. They may be drawing to like an EE, but this stops like a petty theft plus something. Heart force negation. Sure. Wow, taking down Delver with the first one. And one land, huh? Um, yeah, this will keep, I guess. Um, Unjustice, huh? They played standstill and some bullshit ramp deck, huh? So I'm gonna keep. I think I'm actually just gonna bottom this. So they're on painter something or other, so let's just fetch green pride. <laughs> That's so fucking tilting. God damn it. That's just so fucking tilting, man. Like, if I just suspend, I would have suspended it if I knew I was going to redraw the card. Damn. Saga, sure. Three artifacts in play. That's decent. Uh, 
If I had one more blue card, I'd feel a lot better. So if I if I play Brazen Borrower, it actually Wow. They're not doing anything? Okay, then I'm gonna not do anything either. Great, that's really good. Wow, all right, mono blue painter. I um, think we want the four vigors. We may not want the show and tell attracts, so, but then natural, you have to cut like all of them, huh? That mapping is kind of tough. So this is probably a DNA, DNA, DNA solvers list who's just been like winning every challenge with it, you know, just casually. Um, uh, let's see what they have. Dismember, don't care, don't care. It's really just their main game plan we're concerned about. Uh, if I do show and tell, there's a chance they could just kill me. What would happen if I cut all that and brought in like that? Bring in Blood Moon to stop the sagas. It's more red cards to pitch to Fury. Um, how many blue cards are in this deck? I just realized there's like none, right? Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's only twelve blue cards, huh? Only twelve blue cards. It's not a lot of blue cards when you cut this. This is. It's a lot of blue cards we just cut, huh? Um, what if we don't want the endurances? Bringing like force negation, force negation. What is force negation even good against though? I don't think I guess if I'm gonna force a vigor on their turn, force negation protects that. That's fourteen blue cards. It's still not a lot of blue cards. But what would I cut to have this? Do I not want Fury? Fury is like only good versus painter. I guess it's good versus Emery as well. Let's say I just cut the forces entirely and just like played to the board. Bring in like four endurances. I'm gonna bring in like two show into uh, two force wheels. I have no idea I'm supposed to board for this. Uh, yeah, I think I have to maul it really slow yeah I mean I guess we're gonna suspend we're gonna go turn one Emery which is like an impossible thing to beat oh that's fine they have Emery also okay they don't have Emery cool Yeah, a Blood Moon off the top would be pretty dope. Blood Moon would be pretty cool right here. Why, why is this in your deck still? Um, Blood Moon? We have four. We got four Blood Moons just waiting to come down. Um...
they have like Hydro Blast, and then they run two. No, okay. I mean, next turn we could try to try to draw four cards. Fucking hate fading. I just hate facing this deck so much. I mean, we're just dead to the combo, right? Oh, that card doesn't have text. These two cards don't have text, which I'm grateful for. Okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> metallic rebuke. Okay. Oh, that's that's way better for me. The metallic rebuke. Okay. All right. Uh, so we are gonna lose Minsk here, but. I think it did its job. We draw. I mean, we have a Fury in a turn. Yeah, okay. Alright. I guess they could just blow up Blood Moon, huh? I didn't think about that. I mean, it stopped them from getting Grindstone, so it was probably worth it. I guess I'm going to play a Fetch. No, I can't. Okay, I almost screwed that up. A blue card maybe would have been good. Metallic Rebuke off the top? Damn. Because they didn't have that a turn ago, right? <laughs> so next turn we do have a hard cast Fury. Going after the Blood Moon, I guess they have a Saga. Yeah. That checks out. Math checks out on that, that one. If they don't have another... Okay, that's fine. Metallic Rebuke here. Yeah... It looks, I mean, they're holding up like Metallic Rebuke. I guess they're holding up Hardcast Force. I hope they counter this. Do I hope they counter it? I mean, they're going to counter something, so it's kind of... Yeah, that's sweet. Okay. Because they're going to take a bunch of damage to do this. Okay. Oh, jeez. That's really good. So um, I think I'm gonna just fetch a forest here. Just get this down. Do have metal craft currently, but God, all right. This fury. Oh man, what am I gonna do with this fury? I have to kill Emery. <laughs> I have to kill this fucking card. So annoying. Or do I? God, what am I supposed to do here? I could just play the, I could play land and pass. And I just like attack. I guess that sort of just like buys me a turn, I guess. Hopefully they go to attack before they, I mean, now they're going to target it, right? Cause it's like one extra. It's pretty free to do that.
They're going to attack, deal. Okay. So now they, like, that, that zero drop's kind of annoying because they, like, I just cleared the graveyard. Worst draw on the deck. Guess I'm going to attack for five. I probably should have Furied first. Yeah, because if they happen to draw a Metallic Rebuke, which is like the only card with text, I'm pretty fucked. Uh, I guess it's this, because if they tap this to activate, I have multiple lethal attackers. Like, even if they tap and bubble, doesn't help them not die. It's, oh, man. It shut off Metalcraft, too. Yeah. Wow. Delver and Painter. Cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Breakfast. I'm not the, my, my new deck. I can never beat. Grand up with him to Torok. They have him to Torok in their Cephalid Breakfast deck. Wow. <laughs> okay. My hand's pretty bad. Uh, so I can either keep a, a turn one show and tell Atraxa or I can sh just get rhinos into play. I think Atraxa is probably better. How do they fit everything in their deck with 18 lands? That's how. Four Thought Seeds, four Him, four Force of Will. That's kind of wild. Four Thought Seeds, four Him, four Force of Will, huh? Show and tell is a little risky in that they can uh, like put in a part of the combo, but <laughs> I keep drawing this fucking card. <laughs> I just keep drawing it. Uh, now I don't have force backup. I was just ho I was hoping to draw a blue card, because the other option is like put back show and tell and then or put back like a track set and then forge pitching show and tell. Maybe that was better. I just want to see if show and tell was, was worth it. I guess I can just suspend this for now. 
I have a feeling I'll be dead while it's still suspended, though. Like, drawing this is, like, especially being on the draw, it feels like... <sighs> versus a combo deck, anyway. Uh, you know, versus Delvern shit, it's, like, kind of annoying, but... So what do I bring in versus Cephalid Breakfast? It looks like they're in a different version. Okay, I'm glad I didn't force that. All right, let's see if I just draw. Oh, were they on days? And were they on Ether Vial? They were on the three vials in their 18 land deck. Wow. And they did run. Boom, baby, boom. That's really, really frustrating, but. At this point, I'm just like kind of in fuck it mode. And I'm going to pitch the Endurance here. I mean, the Elvish Spirit Guide, because I want this in case I find a Fury off of Traxa. I think I want Ottawara as my land, uh, instant sorcery, and creature. I could go with a spirit guide or a fury. I think with the vials, they're going to play at instant speed a lot. So maybe having the option to show and tell on another Traxa is better than Fury. Instant Sorcery Land Creature. Because Ottawara will cost one less with the Traxa, so... It's like, this may be an uncounterable way to uh, battle them. So I guess I have to, do I have to force this? I really don't, I guess. I mean, let's see what happens. If I force, if I don't force, they bounce. Then force is dead the rest of the game, so. I guess get rid of this because I may want to show and tell in a fury or something. Craze deck runs him to Turok. Okay. So we're basically just going to ride this. Yeah, like, end of turn, I can just go for Rhinos. And I can hold up Ottawa right now, so. They will have one Construct. I 
I guess if I found outbursts, I then would not be holding up Ottawara. But is holding up Ottawara doing anything currently if they have a vial? This is tough. Really tough. Yeah, oh, this is the list right now. We beat Delver and Mono Blue Painter so far. Uh, the bre breakfast is always really tough. like this um yeah breakfast is gonna seem tough so we can go for an end of turn violent outburst but they can make a token which is three they block take one trample take four that's five damage seven but they could just chump here hmm. Uh, I think we just got to go for it. Yeah, Blood Moon was really good versus uh, Painter. It was really, really good. Killed two Sagas. Yeah, and it's going to help post board here. It's going to be really big. It's going to be really, really nice. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to try to represent a lethal thingy. Ha, <laughs> Orum's chant, that's pretty funny. Oh, they switched list, yeah. I, I, I figured they weren't on this list. Brazen Bar, at least it's a card with text, I suppose. Really wanted to draw a land, though. Kind of fucked up. Probably just dead. But those are the beats. Breakfast seems really, really hard. The Blood Moons, I hope, will help. Oh, you lost a painter? Yeah, I, 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 thankfully I rolled it pretty easily. They have two cards in hand. Okay. Not activating Vile. Wild. Yeah, I mean, what do we want to do here? I probably cut Force of Wills. I don't think Forces are very good. I probably bring in just Blood Moons. Uh, Force of Vigor both seem good. It seems like this is how we could win. Yeah, the issue I realized with this deck is you're, if. if because typically if you want to sideboard, you sideboard out the show and tell part and you have no blue cards left. <laughs> you have like 10 blue cards. Uh, so you, you know, it just, it gets tough what you want, how much blue cards you want to leave in, you know, it gets tough. Oh, they're on Painter and Breakfast combined? That's pretty funny. I mean, if they have a Counterspell, I'm fucked. Maybe I should have played this in case they have Daze. If, if, yeah, if they have Daze or Force, I'm in trouble.
It's kind of funny. They milled two. No, they milled my brazen barber. No. All right. We win if we draw land. Or spirit god. Oh my god, that's so fucking unlucky. Eighteen cards. <laughs> We're in 18 cards. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, wait, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Watch, watch, watch. Let's go! <laughs> Let's fucking go, baby! Wow. Oh, man. This shit is too funny. This shit is too funny. This deck's just cracked. I'm glad I, I almost conceded. <laughs> I almost didn't even see that show. Tell Fury. Ah, the deck is perfect. <laughs> oh, man. It's so funny. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. So I definitely want Vigors. Uh, yeah, it's like, man, what do I don't know what to cut with this deck. I just don't know what to cut with this deck. That's the issue. Everything is so perfect. I think natural orders. Um, God, I think Blood Moon is is really good. Like Blood Moon, like stopping the saga is is just such a big game. Is Blood Moon better than Force Will? If I cut Force Will, then I have to bring Endurance too. So it's like, what 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 rabbit hole do I want to go down? Atraxa show until was nice there. That was cool. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I want forces versus painter. Especially the Orem's chant and stuff. I don't think I want it. Luckily, we have like Ottawara and Sky Turtle, which can go through an Orem's chant. Now, Endurance is the question. Um. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think this is a mulligan, unfortunately. I think we gotta mull this. 
Yeah, I mean, we have two mana, right? If I had one more land, I think I would keep it. This just seems like it's going to get killed. I only were 19... 19 land... So I cut a spirit guide, so we have seven spirit guides and 19 lands. That's 26. We're 50%. I mean, we're like exactly 50%. And now if I have uh, over two draw steps, it's 75% over two draw steps. Yeah, it's definitely all in. And it's like, do we go all in on Blood Moon? Or do we go all in on... I guess I have this. The thing is, if we if we miss on a land drop, we just have to move to discard, which seems really rough. 75% over two turns, I think, is enough. We won game one. Let's try it. I can blame Arkin if it's wrong. Yeah, say. Ah, oh, no. Fucking Vile. The, a card that's literally unplayable after turn one. There we go. There we go. All right, so. All right, it's a card I can cast. Hopefully they play another one. Play Saga Vile. Play Saga. No, just Saga. Don't play another Vile. Just play Saga. Play Saga. Come on. So I think I have to get rid of Atraxa is only good if I draw a four of, so it's probably Atraxa that's supposed to get cut. All right. Either play Saga or Fetch Vile. Just play a, play a saga. Pretty please play a saga with no counter magic. Damn. Or play a grindstone. Do something. Play a grindstone. Alright, what am I pitching? I think it's a track, so. They have a Nomad, of course they do, sure. And they do have the Island for Blood Moon, which was, I guess, smart of them, huh? I'm not going to play Blood Moon now, since they have an Island and can get play Cephalid. Ah, oh, boo. Not drawing lands is just such a killer. Ah, <sighs> such a killer. And they had Saga one turn after. So I have to bounce this right now. And then like top deck of Fury, I guess. I guess they can't play this. I have to draw a mana source though. A fetch land. Fetch land. Fetch, 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 fetch. Fetchy, fetch, fetch. Fetchy, fetch, fetch. God, what a bad way to lose. What a bad way to lose. Damn. 
them. I only hit one out of three draw steps. I mean, I guess that, that's like losing two out of three coin flips, but it feels so much worse. Feels so much worse. God. Yeah, Fetchland just slam Blood Moon. Probably wins on this turn. Uh, they shuffled and they found a white source. Uh, I'm, I know the combo, but I'm going to let them go through it just so we can see their sideboard plan. I want to see if like they left forces in and stuff. Damn. The fact that they had a, a turn three combo and we missed lands is kind of kind of unfortunate. Yeah, I don't think I like endurance. God. Yeah, so arms chant, multiple Thassa's oracles, tropical element for memories journey. Uh, I'm going to concede here so they don't see Blood Moon. I don't think they're... Uh, so they still have Force Soul in. It's good to know. It's good to know that. Um, Alright, so I'm going to bring in the Spirit Guide, especially on the play over the Endurance. Um, and just run it back. We only have four... Let's see. How many blue cards do I have for Force Soul? I mean, if I bring in Force Soul, it's... Sick, but what am I cutting? Like, I'd have to cut something that's... Uh, I don't want... I, I would cut Cascaders, I think, before I cut Footfalls. I'm going to cut, like... Like, that's the thing. Force is so bad. Like, because of... Maybe you want Minskin Boo, actually. Yeah, but if, if they even silence the first one, then we're just screwed. We don't have any more. I want to cut. Let me try this. Just something else we could try to turn one or two. I didn't see dazes, which is good. Maybe the show and tell attracts a plan isn't good enough. What would I bring in? Yeah, it's only it's only six cards, not enough for the whole thing. Endurance doesn't really do anything versus that the breakfast. But it's like I, it, the sideboarding doesn't make sense. Yeah, like. And four seems like verse chant and taff. Like you need to have it then. I, I'm just going to try this. All right. It's not the nuts or anything, but uh, I think it's reasonable enough. Yeah, fucking attracts is garbage. So as long as they don't play turn one nomad, we could turn two shardless. And if we draw a red source, we have fury. And if we draw, and then we'll just have a brazen borrower. So yeah, I'll just fetch a a taiga here, I guess.
That's so fucking annoying. <laughs> it's so annoying because now I, I just can't do anything. I have to just play around the combo. And I'm probably still dead anyway. I guess I just pass because I can... Yeah, I think I have to pass. I mean, I could bounce this. If they play Cephalid, I could bounce this, try to top deck a red card, and then uh, Fury it. But they, if, if they're going for it, I'm going to guess they have Force backup anyway, and it doesn't matter. And they're playing around Blood Moon randomly. This has been weird how they have been playing recent. Like, the last couple lines... Like, they didn't really make a lot of sense to me. Yeah. I don't know. I, yeah, that was... I, I don't want to say anything, but the way they, they, they played was really weird. They went from fetching all, all duels to, to basics all of a sudden. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I guess I should have used a Sky Turtle, huh? That nah, didn't matter. Yeah, that was weird. But, uh, okay. Yeah, sometimes they just have it on uh, turn two with force backup, you know? Vendillion Misclick. It's a name that sounds familiar. Uh, we have Show and Tell Attracts. Uh, we have all the combos. So, all the combos. Yeah, I see. So, let's just try. Let's hope it's a fair deck and we just jam combos down their throat. We're just going to go, co we literally have like combo into combo into combo. So. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, okay. Nice uh, DRC, sure. So I think we'll EOT next turn and then on our turn uh, go for a, another play. Yeah, no, I mean, I think, I don't know, it depends if game two, if you had a force will or not. I, I, I didn't draw land, uh, you know, out of my three draw steps, which is not incredibly unlucky, but, you know, it's still unfortunate. I mean, if you had a force, I don't think it mattered, but it looks like you just had uh, the old nuts. Not much to do about it. They left the card on top. Didn't play. Are they going to like play land main two? That's the dumbest fucking thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the dumbest fucking thing. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. All right, I'm going to fetch here. Get a forest, forest and island. I guess I'll get a red sword. Island. Mm. I guess this turn I'll just play a shardless agent. I always draw this fucking card, man. I always draw this card. Fury would have been nuts, huh? Days? 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 Oh, wow. Wow. That's a good play. It's a tough decision. 
Tough decision there. Not something. Let's go. This matchup, I don't think it's too bad. We were really, really, uh, we did make a rookie mistake of losing the die roll, you know, which is something I always tell people to practice. Winning the die roll is pretty dope. Okay. <laughs> sure. Two cards left in hand. What's in hand? What's in hand? You think it's like, uh, what's it? Force the will and uh, what, what are they going to force pitching? Probably force pitching Merc Tide, right? It has to be force and Merc Tide is the last two cards. Yeah, that's what I think, Lord. I think it's force and Merc. I'm, uh, I'm pretty confident. If it's double days, I may just end the stream. Uh, I don't know. I won't. I hope it's double days now. <laughs> Force EI. Fucking Force EI, obviously. Oh, man. People, some people, you know. I, can, I I play around double days without fetching. They daze, I fetch. And if they daze, I spirit guide. My fetch resolves, I pay for the other one. So, I mean, I, I, I play around double days anyway. If they cast the first days, I just fetch. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess if they start with that. I mean, honestly, if they do that, I don't care too much. It has to be another EI on top, right? That's the only thing they wouldn't uh, put back. Or it's a Merc Tide. Or it's a Merc Tide. Uh, or they're going to trigger this, then EI, right? All right, so maybe it's Force and Negation? What did they keep on top? They left it on top. Weird. Good timing. Good timing. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a good idea. Good idea to not attack here. And they found something. What did they find randomly? What was random off the top? Do you think? <laughs> what do you think was just completely random? Oh my god, this fucking deck, man. I just can't stand this deck. It's so fucking boring. Ah, oh, man. Alright, so we just gotta find, like, a show and tell, I guess. I just bottomed one. I guess a natural order would also be good. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I think I could F6 here. Uh, they cast a post combat because of this. Because of this, they wanted two copies. You know, draw four instead of a draw two. Yeah, it's pretty good when you draw four.
Oh my god, come on, please. Yeah, and that makes sense. Um, so I have to draw. What do I have to draw here? Like a show and tell or a natural order, I guess. No. All right. Uh, sideboard cut those bring in these uh that's really it I, I guess like you could cut like show and tells for like you cut like two show and tells for two minskin booze um because it doesn't get pyro blast it doesn't get bolted though so show and tell is probably just better because you can show and tell in fury and stuff I was going to play Thought Shift after this. Uh, let's see how much longer we have left. The league has been going pretty quickly. It's 8.30 right now. I always draw the fucking footfalls. If we draw another spirit guide, we'll go for a uh, violent outburst on their upkeep. Yeah, spirit the spirit guides give you a lot of a lot of game. It's super fun. Deck was super fun. That loss was uh Are you gonna build a dreadnought? <laughs> nice. Oh, there's always a chance you'll draw it. Yeah, I mean, if you have a, if you have like a four of, it's like a forty percent or something. It'll be in your opener. But yeah, I mean, it's a three of, so I guess it's slightly less. It's just slightly less. Thirty something percent. I always like to see. So if there's 60 cards in my deck, I'm going to draw seven. There's three that count. The odds of me drawing one are, yeah, about 30%. 31%. What are the odds they find Bauble off the turn two EI? Is it 100%? Let me put that in the Hyper Geo. They never don't hit the fucking Bauble. They never don't hit the fucking Bauble. <laughs> Oh my god. The turn the turn two EI into bobble has to be the most tilting fucking thing in the world. <laughs> oh man, it's like their hand's not lining up. They have to cast this off of when they want it, and it's just like doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, you know. Uh I guess I'll go for this now. I don't want to do it in their upkeep when they can brainstorm. Uh we can Actually, I'm going to pass. because they're, they're I, I want them to crack the bubble on my end step. That's yeah, true. I mean, again, it, it, like whether or not it's from the partner, it's just like mathematically, like again, three. That That is less likely. Oh, I should have let this go first. I waited for them to do it so that they wouldn't know my card. <laughs> I was like looking at chat and not paying attention.
I might have to cast this uh, spirit guide and natural order it away. Force. Sure. Yeah, I, I meant for them not to know this. So that's that's on me. Uh, two more turns for my suspended rhinos. Yeah, yeah, the arbor is like, it, I don't know, how many lands did you play? I'm playing 20, 20 with the eight spirit guides, so I think, I think 20 is good, and I just couldn't fit an arbor. Sure. Okay, what are the odds now, huh? There's one in my fucking deck. That was the last one in my fucking deck. <laughs> it had to be, it's, it's what, one out of 46. Uh, so two, 2.4% 2 or something. God damn it. God damn it. Am I supposed to sky turtle something? I might have to sky turtle something here. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. Brutal, fucking brutal. I mean, I don't believe that's how math works, <laughs> but you know. Another, uh, what you got? Another EI? This is taking a long time. This is like a Merktide timing, but that doesn't make sense to play it pre-combat. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, a little, uh, definitely a little bit of bad variance in the past two matches, like losing a couple coin flips. Like losing more coin flips than we're winning, you know? But I guess those are the beats, huh? You can't have fun. You can't have too much fun in Legacy. You can have a little fun, but not too much, you know? You're running the people just grinding Delver. Grinding Delver on a Monday night. That's the thing about Legacy. The deck for everyone. Oh my god. And not only that, but just facing the deck is so fucking boring. <laughs> I feel like I'm versing like the epic gamblers and they're really just like just cantripping, cantripping, surveilling, scrying, this, that. Like, fuck. Got endurance. And we just didn't draw any endurances. Just bad beats. Did they play land this turn? They did, and they left the card on top. Uh, I think I'm going to do this. That means they, if they want to play this, they can't use this for Mystic Sanctuary. Because they're just going to cast another fucking... Six cards in hand, going to cast a 30 eye, uh, you know? Yeah, I was going to say I should have fetched him. Huh? They haven't, they've, they've used one force. What are the odds they have two forces and 20 cards? Is it 100%? 
Is it exactly 100% you'd think? Oh my god, and it takes so long to get forced. Oh, and it's the third EI. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Alright, I got about one more draw step. Got one more draw step. Try to rip a live one. If not, we're just going to be playing for a pity chest. Really, really unfortunate turn of events. Things just did not go our way. They have hard cast force up now. Cool. All right. Let's see if we can finish with the pity chest. Insane start beating Delver and uh, Blue Painter. Uh, really rough loss here. Missing on lands um, in game two. And then we just got Delver this last round. Not much else to say. It's like we have seven Cascaders or one Rhino. It's like, we have a Rhino, sir. But yeah, uh, once this is over, I might try a Thought Shift League. It's 845. Um, these leagues go a little quicker. Now, someone did well in the challenge with this, so I've been thinking about taking it for a ride. See how long the next, the next match goes. Eddie Cheng. Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's slow, but it has a force of will, and you can go, like, shardless into natural order, which seems pretty cool. Manitoid. And our opponent is 3-0, so let's try to crush those dreams, get rid of their, let's get rid of their prizes. Is it Lance? No, you can't register this deck. Didn't anyone tell you? Didn't anyone inform you that that deck is not allowed to be registered? No one told them, huh? Damn. Yeah, fuck this card. <laughs> There's a list of cards I have. It's like this long of cards that I hate on turn one and don't care about after turn one. The The number one card that I despise seeing on fucking... Oh, that's a, that's unfortunate top deck for them. I'll one turn late. Um, oh, their combo... Oh, their food chain. Their food chain. We might be dead. We might be dead. Uh, Aether Vial. Fuck Aether Vial on turn one, man. Fuck that card. Yeah, food chain goblins is, is pretty strong. I'm sure they have just have the win now. I lost to this on fucking turn two before.
That went just about as well as it could have, you know. We got really lucky. Um, it is food chain. I think I'm going to bring in Force of Vigor since that's like the only way I lose. Kind of like a Brazen Borrowers. And I, sh I think show and tell might be a little risky. Actually, what if I cut show and tells, bring this, this, like a force negation? Because I literally only want to stop. I only want to stop the food chain, I think, so. Food chain is disgusting, though. It has a fury. I have a fury. Straz is doing a long stream, so honestly, maybe I'll just raid Straz after this. They brought in carpet? No way. You have to be really fast. Oh, I mean, if they play Food Chain, this Force of Vigor is going to be nuts. Uh, Spear Guard's nice. Sure. Hopefully they play a Food Chain. They're not, okay. So we could Violent Outburst into turn. If I wait one turn, I will be able to... If I draw a land, I can Minskin Boo, which would probably be pretty good. Having this Force of Vigor is giving me a little bit of being comfortable. This is like a ringleader. See what they reveal. Lackey and Hierarch. Huh? Yeah, two rounds may be better than Minsk. So I get to attack for eight. I have Fury. I'm probably just going to use Minsk for Fury, right? This fucking Rhino I exiled won't even ever, like, hit the ground. Look at this carpet of flowers, huh? It's pretty nice carpet of flowers. So they have one unknown, or two unknowns now. What they had in hand and what they top decked. Okay, we got a forest. What do they, what do they top deck? I imagine they top deck, yeah, they, they had to top deck that. 
Are they going to get a Muxus? And just hope to top deck a land? Just go like Hierarch Lackey, get a Muxus? I Fury them? Right, they have to get a Muxus here, I think. Yeah, they have to get a Muxus and hope for the best. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Like, that's that's the only play they have. So, 100% makes sense. But they don't, they don't know they're going to need a top deck of land. You know, I'm going to Fury them. Like, they don't know that. So, th this play is... It makes, it makes a ton of sense. The only good thing is I will have uh, eight toughness, so that's something, I guess. And they can't fetch. It can't be a fetch. Oh, they just said GG's. Just GG's. Wow, that was a pretty... That was like three minutes. <laughs> that was like three minutes. All right. Atraxa. Boss three. What the fuck is this? All right. Well, not a bad three, two. Uh, not a bad 3-2. Uh, the Blood Moons were great. The show and tells were good. I mean, a little frustrating variance, you know? Like, we drew all these instead of like, any Endurances versus Dolver. Uh, and they had Double Force, Triple EI. Like, you're never going to beat those.